friends. Good evening. Welcome, everyone, and thank you for joining us to another Gnostic Lab of Practical Application. Tonight, our subject matter is astral travel. And this is a very beautiful mantra that we can use to lull the body to a sleep and provide it that you remain very watchful, observing that transition between this vigil state and the sleep state. This mantra is going to help you unfold in your astral body really quick. Now, for tonight's work, we're going to start with the relaxation of the body. I'm going to invite you to lull yourself to a sleep. Now, this is tricky. Because if you fall asleep, you don't know where we, when, when we leave. So uh, just know that if you have a towel or something with which you can cover the computer screen while you are setting yourself in a comfortable uh, posture, whether in your sofa, on your yoga mat, on the floor, etc., uh, that if, if you happen to fall asleep, well, that, uh, that the light of the computer screen is not going to be affecting your psychotic rhythm. We're going to lull ourselves to sleep and we're going to sing the mantra, once we start making a transition, you need to focus on getting up. But I'm going to tell you this. Some people make use of this practice and the very same day that they try it, they are unfolded in the astral body. This is very common with children. You get somebody, like our good friend, sits right here at nine years old, and you tell them, this is what we're doing, this is what we're singing. The moment that you feel uh, like you start seeing things in your dreams, just get up. The next day, they say, yeah, that was very easy. <laughs> now, for, all of, for, for many others, well, it can take a couple of weeks. It can take a couple of months. For many people... After a few years, they have not been able to unfold in their astral body. Let me tell you one thing. Do not despair. Do not despair. Because you're still unfolding every night. It is just that you're not being able to do it consciously. And to help improve that conscious aspect, there is another mantra that we can use. It's called the mantra Egipto that allows for the vibration of the liver. Because remember, the liver is the foundation of the astral body. Okay, so we're going, we're going into this practice assuming that you will be able to unfold consciously tonight or in the upcoming days. With that said, we're going to assume a very comfortable posture. If you can, and I think that everybody would be able to, orient your body so that your head is pointing towards the north. This is a beautiful thing to do. You get your body and your body suddenly is aligned to the flow of currents. In the planet. As a matter of fact, in the in the emerald tables of Toth, the Atlantean, those emerald table that the eight tables that Hermes Trismegistus left for humanity, there is one key in the secret of secrets that invites you to align your body also to the positive pole of the planet, which is north, and to do that every day for an hour, concentrating yourself from the top of your head to your heart, and then to switch and orient your legs towards the north, and then concentrate from your heart to your feet. And he says, this will help you stay energized and stay young. You see, so the, the idea of aligning the body to the flow of currents in the planet is always a good one. As we assume this posture, we are going to do a brief relaxation of the body and we're going to sing this mantra Tairerere. How does this mantra sound? Let me tell you that the letter R is not elongated. That R is not an R that sounds like Rrrr. Not in this case. We will emphasize Tairerere. Tai re 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 Tai re 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 Now what is the impact at the level of the vital body and the physical body because we have chakras involved in this exercise As we strike Tai that letter A invites the vibration of the thymus gland You know that we have an anahata chakra right there in the heart 
And because that letter A invites that shock to Anahata, that is a good thing because Anahata is the chakra that allows us to unfold comfortable in the astral body. So that is how we start. The letter I, that you heard it sound like E, this one invites the harmonious vibration of the chakras in the head. So everything inside the head, the hypothalamus, the pituitary gland, the pineal gland, that all vibrates in harmony. And the ability to see the ultra of nature is induced by the pituitary gland right here in between the eyes. So the letter I, that sounds E, invites your ability to be able to see with more clarity. That's awesome. Because when you perceive with more clarity, suddenly you realize, wait a minute, this is not my physical body. We're here in the astral plane. When we then emphasize the letter E that sounds E in re re re, that letter E is for the vibration of the thyroid gland. This is what we have, this laryngeal chakra that gives us the ability to listen to the sounds of the ultra. So not only we are emphasizing at the level of the heart so that we can unfold, but we want to see and we want to listen. Tomorrow morning when you wake up, keep your Gnostic journal under your pillow. If you can use a pencil, use a pencil. Because if you start using one of those fancy gel pens that we have these days, some of them, when you try to write upside down, they don't work. So make sure that you have something that, that, you, can, that you can write in your Gnostic journal without moving your body too much. Wake up in the morning. Don't move your body. Allow your astral body to once again settle comfortably within the physicality. Because by now you know that if you move it and you shake it, the memories are gone. And this will happen in an instant. So remain still. Do a brief retrospection. We have done so many retrospections here that by now you are really good at it. So do a brief retrospection and everything that you recall, write it down. You may think, man, but I'm writing so much and that felt like, like one minute. Some people say, I don't know if this happened for one minute or if it happened for the whole night. Look, once we unfold in the astral plane, we are beyond time. We are within the realm of the eternity. So what appears to be a, a brief moment, it could have taken the whole expanse of the night. So you take note and you write as much as you can. Most of you by now must have already completed the three-part lesson in Dream Yoga. If you haven't done it, it is a very easy one, but it teaches you very well how to interpret the symbols in your dreams. And there is a good reference that uh, our instructors in the ICQ have compiled so that when you see the symbol, if you need a definition of what the symbol may stand for, or well, you can go back and reference the material. So this is what we're doing. Relax the body, lull yourself to sleep. We're going to sing the mantra, Tai Re Re Re. And as you see yourself in that transition, stand up. For the sake of today's practice, by the time that we're done, I'm going to bring you back. And we're going to formally finish the exercise. But that should be good enough practice so that you can continue singing that mantra with your silent word. And when you go to sleep tonight, just keep doing that and continue the practice. If you do this for the whole week, by the time that we come together next week, <laughs> you may be unfolding very comfortably. And if, if, if we have been consistently practicing, identifying that moment of transition, you would recall one of these Gnostic labs where we dedicated 40 days afterwards to be able to identify that. Uh, you should be able to capture this tonight and unfold no problem at all. So, if we're ready to start, let's go ahead and get started. As you know, we are starting tonight by closing our eyes and making sure that we minimize any sensorial perceptions that could be a distraction. So if you happen to have a towel, uh, just 
toss it over your computer screen. Make sure that you do not block the, the ventilation of your laptop because we don't want it to overheat. We don't want to see an accident anywhere. Okay, let's go ahead and start by closing our eyes. And let's make ourselves comfortable. I will invite you to assume a corpse posture. In that posture, we're resting comfortably on our back. Our arms are resting comfortably alongside the body. And our legs are stretched out. If your body allows to, bring your heels together. And just relax your legs so your feet fan open. You may have to do some adjustment for your lower back, some adjustment for your neck and your head. But that should be a comfortable enough posture. Some of you may choose the posture of the flaming star. So once you are in this corpse posture, uh, you are welcome to spread your legs shoulder width apart and spread your arms side to side. Samael reminds us that this is a great posture because as we mimic the flaming star, the tenebrous ones just run away. Some of you may feel that uh, your hands like tend to fall asleep in this posture. If that's the case, well, so that you're not distracted by that, you're welcome to go back to, to your corpse posture. And we will try to align ourselves with the magnetic north. As we do this, let's start by taking a deep breath in one, two, with every exhalation, just allow your body to sink a little deeper onto that surface. Okay. One, two. One, two. And let's create a nice circle of protection around us. For that, we will recite the mantra, Klim Krishnaya. Klim Krishnaya Govindaya Kopihana Vajavaya Swaha. Let's do that again for good practice. Klim Krishnaya Govindaya Kopihana Vayavaya Swaha. One last time for good practice. Klim Krishnaya Govindaya Kopihana Vayavaya Swaha. And at this moment, let's invoke our innermost. We can say, Divine Father, Father of mine, you who are my true being, you who are my internal God, we are here humbly at your presence, asking of you and begging of you to officiate during this practice. Divine Father, we ask for your grace Give us the opportunity to unfold consciously in our astral body. Give us the opportunity to perceive the exact moment of transition between the visual state and the sleep state. Divine Father, we ask of you that you do it in such a way that there is no doubt that it is absolutely clear that you are giving us an indication on when is it that we must willingly stand and leave the physical body behind. And we ask you, Father, that not only during this practice, but in the days that follow, that you could giving us continuously that very specific indication 
so that we may try and try and try again until we do it successfully. Father, we ask of you that you officiate in this practice. And we ask of this in your holy name. So be it. Let's take a deep breath in one, two. Let's bring the attention of our consciousness to our toes. From our toes, we allow that attention to expand and we perceive our heels, our ankles, our shins, our calves, our knees. We take another deep breath in one, two, and we allow ourselves to sink a little deeper onto that surface. We maintain the focus of our consciousness from the knees, the underside of our thighs, our hips, And we bring that attention to the very base of our spine. As we continue breathing, we feel that relaxation expanding into our creative organs. We feel that relaxation inundating our thighs. And we feel that gentle softness that is so particular of a deep state of relaxation. Focusing that attention once again at the very base of our spine, we allow that consciousness to continue expanding one vertebra at a time. And with every breath and every exhalation, we feel the relaxation of our internal organs. This is a good moment to invoke of our Divine Mother. Divine Mother, we're here humbly at your presence asking of you and begging of you for your powerful assistance. We ask of you, Mother, that you bring unto us the Hermetic Seal Close all of our doors to any negative emotions. Close all of our doors to any negative thoughts. Give us a warning if at any moment we find ourselves moved by blind emotion. And we surrender ourselves to someone or something. Keep all of those doors closed so that we can only operate through our Father who is in secret and that we do not become influenced by any external influences.
at this moment if anyone feels a little tense. We will add an additional prayer to our practice tonight. This is called the Fons Alpha. And it goes, Fons Alpha et Omega, Figa Figalis Sabaoth, Emmanuel Adonai Onerai, Elai Her Uton Eneher Seha Panheton Comenagla, Mateo Marcos Lucas Johannes Titulos Triunfales, Jesus Nazarenus Rexio de Orum Eche Dominique Cruces Signum Fugite Partes Adversae. Visit Leo de Tribu Judae Radix David, Alleluia. Kyrie eleison Christe, eleison Pater Noster Ave Maria et Nevos. Er venia super nos salutare tum. Oremos. The Fons Alpha has the power of protecting us against any external influences from tenebrous entities, enemies. Samael tells us this prayer will even protect you from the dangers of bullets and knives. So now that we can perceive that that tension has gone away, we continue focusing on our breathing. Divine Mother, we give you infinite thanks for bringing about the hermetic, the hermetic seal. And we bring the attention of the consciousness back to the base of the spine. We allow it to expand as we breathe and we feel the relaxation of our internal organs, the relaxation of our intestines, of our liver, our pancreas, our spleen, our gallbladder. We feel the relaxation of our diaphragm and our stomach. And suddenly we notice that the exhalations are just deeper, that breathing becomes more effortless. That it becomes almost imperceptible. And with much gratitude, a great deal of satisfaction, we bring the attention of the consciousness back to the middle of our spine, in that space between our shoulder blades. And as it continues to move up, we relax our lungs our heart and we bring that relaxation to our shoulders to our elbows our wrists and our hands We continue breathing comfortably and we allow the body just to sink just a little bit deeper on that surface. And we start allowing ourselves to feel light as a feather, to feel vaporous, like a gentle breeze. And as we do this, we bring the attention of our consciousness to the base of our skull, in that space behind the head and between the ears. And even though we can perceive that on a physical level, we do not identify with it, but allow it to continue expanding along the sides of our head. And we relax the muscles of our jaw our tongue, our lips, our eyes and our eyelids, the muscles of our forehead. And we allow that gentle sensation of relaxation to find itself at the very crown of our head.
We allow ourselves to see that there is a gentle light that emanates from our head and expands upwards into the infinite heavens. And through that very same channel, a gentle blue light descends that inundates and illuminates our head. And it descends and illuminates our heart and illuminates our lungs. We enjoy this deep state of relaxation knowing that this is our natural state. And we are certain that at any moment we can invoke of our Father who is in secret. And we can ask Him to bring back this very same state. Let's allow ourselves to be lulled to a sleep. Know that this is conscious sleep. If at any moment you have to interrupt it, you are welcome to do so. And making sure you're not bringing any tension into the eyes that we're not bringing any unnecessary tension onto our jaw. We continue breathing and we sing the mantra Tai Re Re Re. Tai Re Re Re. Tai Re Re Re.
Divine Father, we beg of you with our soul and our heart, take us out of our body consciously. Take us out of our body. Take us out of our body. Allow us to receive the wisdom from the lips of the great masters. Dai re re re. 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 Dai re re re.
Divine Father, we give you infinite thanks for the help that you give us. Divine Mother, we're infinitely grateful for your assistance. Give us, Father, the tenacity to continue with the practice. Remind us that at the time to get up, that it is not a mental exercise, that we should get up, just like when we don't think it in the morning, just like when birds hold no doubt, when they take a leap to fly within the the airs of your mystery. Very well. those of you to choose so, you can now wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers. And if you still have so much more to do during the day, you're welcome to come back. And that's it. So dear friends, this has been our practice with the mantra Tai Re Re Re. Thank you everyone for joining us this evening. My best wishes to you for a good weekend and may all beings be happy.